This video shows how to find missing side lengths in a pair of similar triangles when you are given a ratio of similarity. In this case, these triangles have a ratio of similarity of 1 to 2. Because 1 is the smaller number, we can assume that it goes with the smaller triangle, and therefore the 2 goes with the larger. When you're given a ratio of similarity, I like to write it in the order in which the numbers were given on the left side of each of my proportions in the first question we're looking for x x is in the smaller triangle so therefore the x has to go on the top of the proportion with the one the side that's similar to side x in the larger triangle is going to be this side that is 2.2 so that goes down here on the bottom now we just have to cross multiply we get 2x equals 2.2, and then x will be equal to 1.1. The length of side x is 1.1. When we look for y, because y is part of the larger triangle, I have to put the y on the bottom with the 2. The side that is similar to side y and the smaller is the 1.2 over here. So I put that here. Then when I cross multiply, I get y equals 2 times 1.2, which is going to be equal to 2.4. The side length of side y is 2.4. Finally, looking for z, z is an unknown in the smaller triangle, so it goes on the top in the proportion with the 1. And the side that is similar in the larger triangle to the side z is this side here, that is 2.6. When I cross multiply, I get 2z is equal to 2.6, and z is going to be equal to 1.3. In this case, we were not given any unit of measure. So what I'd like to do is, in that case, is use the word units as my unit of measure. We have used a given ratio of similarity and some given side lengths in two similar triangles to find all of the missing sides.